Leonard Modino, The Drunkard's Walk, How Randomness Rules Our Lives. Are you ready to explore the incredible world of probability and randomness that governs our lives? In The Drunkard's Walk, How Randomness Rules Our Lives, author Leonard Modino takes you on an exciting journey into the fascinating world of mathematics and how it affects everything we do, from playing games of chance to our everyday decisions. Throughout this book summary, you will encounter the groundbreaking work of some of the greatest mathematicians in history, such as Galileo and Blaise Pascal, and discover mind-boggling concepts like the law of large numbers, conditional probability, and the bell curve. This illuminating journey demystifies daunting concepts, showing you how something seemingly as simple as a dice throw is intimately connected to the fascinating world of probability and statistics that underlies so much of our lives. The Science Behind Dice Games Learn how probability theory was discovered through dice games and shaped modern mathematics. In the 16th century, people believed that winning a dice game depended on their talent or God's favor. It wasn't until Galileo's experiments and observations that the idea of probability came into play. Galileo discovered that random acts, like throwing dice, could be studied mathematically. He answered the question of why three dice more often equaled ten rather than nine. The answer was that there are more possible combinations that add up to ten. This finding led to an important mathematical principle that the chances of an event occurring depend on the number of ways it can occur. Galileo's insights were expanded by other scientists, such as Blaise Pascal. Pascal discovered the expectancy value through another dice situation. When playing a dice game, where the first person to win 10 rounds takes all, but the game must stop early when someone has 8 wins, the winnings must be divided. The number of possible scenarios and ways to win for each player determine the expected value. If player 1 has 11 scenarios to win out of 16, they should get 11 sixteenths of the winnings. This discovery of probability through dice games has led to modern mathematics being built around the idea that determining the likelihood of any future event involves understanding the number of different possibilities that lead to it. Today, probability theory is widely used, from insurance calculations to sports games, and already unknowingly integrated into many aspects of our lives. The Law of Large Numbers Rolling a dice doesn't result in perfect randomness, as demonstrated by gambler Joseph Jagger, who won millions by betting on numbers appearing more frequently. This raises questions about the likelihood of these numbers continuing to appear. Mathematician Jacob Bernoulli spent years developing the Golden Theorem or the Law of Large Numbers to address this issue. Drawing from a jar with a mix of white and black pebbles, Bernoulli demonstrated that as you draw more pebbles, the percentages become more precise. This law can calculate the probability of a specific number of white pebbles when drawing a total number of pebbles and could have assisted Jagger in his games. The natural world doesn't possess perfect randomness, and it's possible to study and calculate probabilities to make better informed decisions. The Truth Behind HIV Tests The book discusses the probability of an HIV test coming back positive if the person is negative. The author, Leonard Mlodino, had an HIV test come back positive once. Upon asking his doctor, he found out that the probability of a person being HIV negative if the test comes back positive, is over 90% and only 1 out of 11 tests correctly identifies a person with HIV. This concept is called conditional probability. It examines the likelihood that an event will occur, given that another event has already occurred. In short, the probability of a positive HIV test, in this case, does not necessarily mean that the person is HIV positive. The same principle applies to other situations, like having a headache and Ebola. Therefore, it is important to analyze the conditions behind a statistic to get a clearer understanding. The power of small mistakes in statistics. Statistics are prone to errors that can distort data. Random errors can be caused by small mistakes in calculation, data entry, or recording which can have significant consequences. In this article, the concept of sample standard deviation is introduced to help measure the variance between results in a given sample. 
such variations affect not only objective but also subjective measurements like wine ratings. Understanding the bell curve The bell curve is a widely used statistical tool that graphically represents data sets, often indicating accuracy. The normal distribution has a symmetrical bell shape with the mean as its center point and the spread of the data representative of the sample. This summary highlights how the bell curve helps make predictions in different scenarios, like identifying the representative data of university male heights compared to the national average, and predicting election outcomes. Understanding this tool can aid in better decision-making and accuracy in statistical analysis. The Discovery of Correlation Coefficient Francis Galton, a mathematician and a cousin of Charles Darwin, was fascinated with measurements. He observed that the height of children and their parents was related, which led to his discovery of the correlation coefficient. The coefficient describes the degree of correlation between two variables and is a vital concept in statistics. A positive correlation means that the taller the parents, the taller the children. Galton's discovery helped mathematically prove the relationship between variables and paved the way for future statistical research. Luck and Success Are successful people really talented or just lucky? The book summarizes how our lives are shaped by randomness by illustrating two examples. The first is that a sports analyst's incorrect prediction of the Super Bowl results led to 10 years of accurate stock market predictions. The second is a look at Bill Miller's success in investing and how it may have been less due to his skills and more due to the probability of success among mutual fund managers in the United States. The book argues that our lives are affected by patterns, but not all patterns are based on predictable outcomes. Sometimes, success happens by chance rather than by design. The Role of Luck in Success Many people attribute Steve Jobs' success to his genius, but luck also played a crucial role. One study on people's taste in music showed that popularity can be influenced by what people think is the majority opinion. Therefore, early and quick popularity can be contagious. Similarly, Hollywood actors' success is also based on luck. Bruce Willis, for example, was working as a bartender before he got the role in Moonlighting, which launched his career. Thus, to succeed, one needs both talent and luck. The Drunkard's Walk empowers you with a deeper understanding of randomness and its impact on our everyday lives. From dice games and lottery winnings to the likelihood of success in the stock market or the entertainment industry, probability plays a significant role in shaping our world. With examples like Galileo's dice experiments, Blaise Pascal's expectancy value principle, and people like Joseph Jagger who took advantage of imperfect randomness, you get a clear sense of how recognizing and leveraging probability can significantly impact our lives. The various concepts presented, such as conditional probability, the bell curve, and the correlation coefficient, offer valuable tools for interpreting data, making predictions, and recognizing the importance of luck in success stories. Ultimately, this book challenges the reader to embrace and navigate the inherent randomness that governs our lives, bringing a new perspective to decision-making and understanding the world around us.